Ah, hello, fellow adventurers. A few videos ago when I was doing some exploring, I said that I was looking for a new stick and I couldn't find one. Well, I found, finally found my new stick by Viking War Staff, used to take down enemies and any non-believer. Here we can see that it has runes, personal runes to me personally, some nice string part. It has this fiery red War Staff look about it. And again, we have some more string down here which acts as handles which is good if you want to attack your foes um, you have two options three options four options if you're really really creative so in this video I'm going to explain how I went about and go about making my sticks my walking sticks canes war staffs whatever you want to call them so let's crack on shall we okay so we're in a local wood to me that horrific noise that you can hear in the background is unfortunately that of uh, cars because lockdown seems to be on its way out. <laughs> so just ignore that for now. We'll get to a more peaceful way very soon. So <clears throat> what I just want to talk about, like this is probably the most important part of um, stick making, stick crafting or stick nurturing, if you will. Um, you've got to remember that these things will be with you for about 15 to 20 years if you if you find one that you particularly bond with like I do uh, and I do a lot of walking a hell of a lot of walking and as you guys that watch this channel now I do a lot of um, <laughs> exploring as well and the stick for me personally is a a very important companion and I feel quite naked when I go out and I don't I don't have one with me so this part of the process is really important and it's important that you take your time don't just go in lopping down branches. Spend your time out here. Uh, it's like walking into a shop almost. And then just like sample uh, sticks in your hand. And then just go, do I like that? Do I like the feel of that? Is it the right girth? Is it the right, you know, does it, does it resonate with me? That's an important thing as well. Does it resonate with me? Does you feel something off of it? I don't want to get too hippy dippy about it, but these things can happen and um, quite often do. So spend your time out here. That's what I'm gonna do now for some time. I'm looking for a, a stick with two prongs, perfect stick with three prongs and even four. The reason for that is, is that I find a pronged stick, number one is you can lean on it uh, and use that as a handle, but mostly um, they're good for moving branches out of the way and sticks out of the way and bracken out of the way. Whereas just a straight stick, you've got to push it out of the way but the places that I go when I'm bunker hunting um, I really need to get stuff out of the way especially all those old dirty cans and dirty glass bottles and things within the uh, the bunkers uh, themselves so okay then so let's have a look see what we can find okay I've seen a couple of candidates um, just reminds me when did I get into doing this particular thing uh, it's when I was a kid when I was a kid when we used to explore everywhere Remember when kids used to go out? <laughs> uh, now they explore in Minecraft. Not all of them. That's unfair. Uh, but when we used to go out, you had to have a stick. If you didn't have a stick, you were like weird. And you, of course, made your stick your own and you carved things into your stick and you carved your name into the stick and stuff like that. People would carve like pentagrams in theirs without having a blooming clue what it meant. <laughs> it was just a, a fun symbol to carve. Um, so yeah that's it so i've been doing this i don't think there's a time probably when i was a very young kid i don't think there's been a time in my life where i haven't had a good stick you know okay let's let's continue god that is a that's a dangerous old thing that is look at that one Woo! corona mask over there nice nice human thing to do well done just love that we're less significant than bees don't you know stop getting ahead of yourselves okay i've come to a slightly different wood I was doing my head in back there, next to the road. I just, since lockdown, I found, found traffic noise really, really uncomfortable to put up with. And bear, I find it really jarring. 
I don't know why that is. It's only since lockdown. Okay, I'm flapping my jaws a bit much here. I just need to get in and get a uh, stick. I'm also gonna be making runes, okay? I'm gonna stick three runes in, which resonate with me most. Uh, I don't know too much about runes, but I am half Irish, half Celtic, quarter Scandinavian, Viking, and then Italian, Greek, believe it or not. I did a DNA test. Uh, and then Anglo Saxon, which is the last little bit. So, runes kind of resonate with me. Um, excuse the pun there. Okay, I found my stick. And I'm not going to show you it yet. I'll show you it in a minute when I've prepared it a little bit more. It's a really, really odd one. It's not typically, it's not straight. I'd typically go for a straight stick uh, for convenience, but it's a really strange shape. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get in there and cut it. Uh, however, you cut it is up to you, but again, just do it as respectfully as possible. Uh, if you're going to use an axe, then just don't hack too much, don't pull the whole thing down. This is just the branch, and it's a very interesting piece of wood. So while we're here, we'll just start the de debarking process. Um, so some types of wood, the uh, bark will just, you'll just make a little nick and then you can just, it's like a Christmas present. You get in there and you can peel it off in massive swathes. It just comes off in huge, huge lumps. This one isn't too bad, um, but you can see it just begins to peel away like that. All you've got to do is make a little nick at the end with a knife or, or your saw. And then it'll come off and it'll look like a human bone right there. So let's, uh, let's crack on with this. There you go look at that and this is an awesome stick it's got so much character and that's why i like doing it with my fingers like peeling it off with my fingers because you really get to low kind of know the intricacies of the stick if you understand you know where you're just hacking away with like the bark off with a knife and you don't really get to kind of like bond with it if you will uh that's cool that is i mean it looks like just a beautiful stick by itself without any kind of uh you know additional things put on by me but yeah, do you know what, I've just got, this is where you've got to use your creativity a bit as well, and you've got to look at it now in its naked form and go like, how am I going to clothe this? How will I, um, how will I, you know, design this? And I can see in my head like a swirl, swirly pattern going down. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to start getting rid of get off my stick you foolish dog is we're going to start cutting off these little nodules these little sharp parts here i don't want to take away too much uh, of the character away as i said before um you could sand start sanding at this point and i'd wait for it to get a little bit drier uh, i mean you could sand these off i'll probably end up sanding these off actually and um, then you could sand the whole thing if you wanted to just to get that nice smooth edge um, but it turns out that this big part here that I was going to chop off is a perfect thumb rest. It's, I mean, to the size of me as well, it just fits perfectly. Um, and it's cool. It's really, really cool. I'm really, really, really happy with this. Um, it's going to look good. Trust me. So what we're going to do is, I think for that swirly pattern, we'll get some electrical tape. and I'm just going to pull it around. I will show you in a minute the process. I'm just going to pull it around and then cut into that um, and then pull the inside out and then we can paint that part. And as I said, I thought I'd do silver, but I like the natural coloring of this part here. See, it's still got its green. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's still got a tint of its like emerald greenness as do these parts. I think it'd be kind of cool if I can get some sort of like green in there as well. I don't know if I can do that. Um, but now's a good time to start just planning out basically where you're going to put your, your, you know, your notches and if you're going to do any designs, good time to start is right now and that's what I'm gonna do I've got a few ideas that I need to be getting on with straight away so I'm gonna crack on so there you go I've just got some electrical tape and all you do is stick it and you just twist it around and that's gonna be the overall shape I think uh, the overall design that will run throughout the whole stick and then what I'm gonna do all I do is I do literally do this with a pen knife I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna cut and just follow the tape around 
so it goes around and then we'll have these indentations that we'll eventually pick out and we can paint in. Hello little puppy. Okay in this instance I'm not really trusting this tape, I don't think it's going to take uh, because I didn't sand down beforehand so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and outline with a pen all the way around and then if it all fails and flips off then it's no big deal because I've still got the pen mark on. Right so as you can see all I've done is, is I've just marked out where the uh, tape was and we have these green lines here. I hope you can see them anyway, I think you probably can. So all I'm doing now is I'm taking my uh, taking my um, Swiss Army knife, which probably isn't the best knife to use. And then I'm just going to mark, I'm going to put some nice pressure in. Oh, do you out of the way, mate? And then all I'm doing is putting this pressure down and I'm spinning the stick as it is that spiral. It's going to go all the way around. And once this is done, I'll end up picking all of the middle bit out. We should be left with a nice groove and it'll be in that groove that I'll paint. So this is working really nicely, as you can see. So we just continue all the way around and then we do the same with the other line, which I've already done. I think I've already done. Oh, the other way. Don't want to slip and decapitate my puppy. Nobody wants that, do they? Although your head would look awesome on the end of my stick. <laughs> oh, while we're here, I've also done a um, kind of like red zone here, if you will. And this is where the string's going to go and this is where the first handle will be. Uh, so it'll be like that. So I'll string that. So you need to cut uh, through there at all. And I've also done one at the bottom as well in this instance in this stick. So we'll have two. Uh, and again, you don't need to cut that, but you can just make a uh, same thing. Cut cut through there, and then you're going to pick away this, and then that's where you're going to wrap the string. Well, that's where I'll wrap the string anyway. So what we're going to do is going to add some runes. Um, and what we've done is we've just taken those other sticks. And just chopped them down the line there. This is an old stick that I had. You can see it was varnished. So just chopping, you can use anything, um, any stick you can find. I'm just chopping them into equal-ish chips, if you will. Yes, that one there is a bit too thick. Um, so, but then it comes down to what you're going to do with that. I'm going to try and embed these into the stick itself. Um, but I went painted this one out and I just think it looks too obvious and too bright. See there's the rune, there's the symbol in there. I just practiced it on this really thick one and I just think that's too bright so I'm going to stick with the um, the natural wood finish I think. I'll do the same thing, I'll get the obviously mark the rune in there. All I'm doing with that is by the way is uh, using a flathead screwdriver and then just hammering in. Um, hammering on top of it and then I'm just colouring in literally the, uh, the rune the rune shape itself uh, and then I'll probably just lacquer it I think and leave them as they are okay just give you an example of what I'm doing there there you go so I've literally just um, uh, just yeah hammered in and then just kind of like gone over the top with a pen I'll probably lacquer these now I think See, I backtracked and changed my mind slightly there. Um, instead of cutting in with my knife, I decided just to go over uh, with a Dremel with the, I think it's the cutting tool, the, the round circular disc on the Dremel. Um, just because, I mean, you're gonna get the same, it's, it's the same conclusion. You're, you're cutting in and then you can pull these bits out. But I just like this kind of like browning, burnt effect almost. I think that looks pretty cool. Also, I, I'm, I'm gonna go with this, um, but I think that, I'm probably not gonna cut out. I think I might just paint these bits as they are. Um, just cause I do really enjoy these, these parts here. I just think they look really nice. 
it kind of like adds to the authenticity of the whole thing. So what I'm going to get over and done with now is um, the placement of the runes, I think. Uh, so I'm going to have one there like that, and then I'm going to have one there, and then one down there, I think. I'm, I've never done this before, so what I'm going to literally do is I'm just going to trace around the rune, and then just start digging in, and just try and get some sort of placement in there. It'd be nice if it protrudes out slightly, um, but this is a practical stick, you know, I'm going to be doing a lot with it in the practical sense, um, so I don't really want any edges like hanging out because that will just all come off. So I'm going to try and inset that as best as possible. Right, okay, so there's my markers. So we have one there. I think we're going to have one there and then one almost adjacent there. Um, really crude, really ugly, but hopefully it's going to come out in the mix. As us musicians say, let's have a go. Yeah, and I got a little bit over enthusiastic here. I'm, I'm really, really sorry. <laughs> I've jumped ahead. Um, so here are my rune holes. I need to just get a little bit more depth on the outsides of these, really. As you can see there, but they're going nice. There's another one down there near Odi. I've begun to paint, I went with bronze in the end, which looks terrible. It looks like a, a pillar in a really bad Indian restaurant, but that's going to be okay because once we add the fire effect, you were not going to be able to hardly see that anyway. And the other things I've done, I've just started, this is one of the handles here. So there's two handles, there's one down here as well if I want to use it um, horizontally. Um, so what I've done there is I've just dug in on both parts where the handle's going to be and that's going to be where the, the string holds there and it's going to wrap around. Okay, so the next part isn't all that professional and I don't recommend you do this at home. I recommend you find another fire source. But the only fire source that I've got access to right now is the uh, my gas cooker, unfortunately. Um, and this is going to give us our like kind of like angry, um, angry look. You might think, oh my god, what's he doing here? But what? trust me, it'll make shut up, you stupid fool. It'll make sense in the end. Okay, if you could get access to a blowtorch, that would be perfect. So all I'm doing is I'm just going to lightly go over the stick, and we're going to get these burn effects. Hopefully we're going to get these burn effects. And they're going to look awesome once we go to eventually um, stain the wood. And it will really bring it out. Let's leave it in there for a little bit longer. And then you see these like horrible bits that I was talking about earlier. Then they're all just, That's good. See, this is what we want. These are the type of effects that we need. Let's come through and carry on doing this. Look, see that? See how it's all colours See, That's why I said it doesn't really matter what you paint the spiral bit. Because um, once all the parts are burnt nicely, then it's going to look cool. Right, I'm going to um, carry on and do this, and then I'll show you the conclusion right at the end. Yeah, very happy with that. These kind of like flame blemishes, if you will. Again, it'll all make sense once we, uh, we're going to put that wood stain on. That bit's clear because it's going to be uh, strung. That's nice. I'm really happy with that. Again, just be really, really careful if you're going to go for this kind of like effect. Because guess what? It's fire. That top's going to look amazing. Okay, so the next stage is wood staining, and right now I am using uh, uh, Ron Seal 10 year wood stain satin deep mahogany. Um, I'm not entirely sure if you can get this in other countries, but you absolutely will have an equivalent. And it's the deep mahogany which is going to bring out that red and that kind of fire esque look, which um, just suits this burnt thing here, this burnt angry viking feel right let's begin to apply some of this so what i'm going to do is i think i'm just going to leave this over i'll do one coat tonight and then i'll do another coat tomorrow i think i won't show you the whole process what i'm doing is literally just dipping it in to a paintbrush and then just applying it look at that getting that lovely red mahogany come through okay i'm not going to show all of this i don't think there's probably not much point, you get the idea, don't you? And 
again, I will do two coats. This bit here, not a big deal. I don't really need to do it just because that's gonna be strung. This whole area will be strung. And the same as the area down there. Let's turn her over. Uh, the rune parts will get. I didn't want to do this over the runes. I wanted the runes to kind of like ping out by themselves, if that makes sense. Rather than get lost in the colouring of the um, wood stain. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do this because I'm going to sand that a little bit and if I put the stain on it then it's going to act as a, um, a sealant and it's, it might be harder to get the string to stick to the glue so I'm just going to be conscious of that. All right I'm going to put the camera down and continue. Oh, that didn't come out too bad at all. I'm quite happy with that. Um, I like the way that the bronze bits have come out and turned into this almost orangey, goldy, magical wee thing. And look at the burn marks. Look at how they come out. They look awesome, don't they? And that one there. Oh, yes, good, good, good. This is truly a Viking stick. <laughs> right, so next thing to do is going to wrap the string around both handles. So I'm keeping it in that tripod stand down there. Okay, we're going to use just a typical string here. I'm just going to wrap it um, just around the handle of the stick right there. And then we're going to, well, we're going to glue first and then we're going to wrap it. And we're going to use gorilla wood glue but you can use any wood glue i'm guessing um, but this stuff seems to be quite consistent so let's get on with that now and then we're going to do the same with the top one as well That's done. So I'm going to cut that part there, glue that down. All these white bits here, don't worry about that, that will dry out and you can just pick them out. That's cool, happy with that. And this is interesting, or not, but you see the glue there, it's just randomly made this kind of like pattern of deer's head. That is cool. I might actually kind of like etch that into the stick, I think. That is really random, isn't it? Like a deer's head to you. That is cool, man. And it is just glue. Weird, eerie. So there you go, my fellow Viking beasts. A war staff, a Viking war staff, and this should do me for the next ten years or so, I think. And these aren't going anywhere anytime soon. I ended up wood fillering the holes and then gluing into the wood fill. The only slight concerns would be um, because it was such a an alive um, stick branch to take it would be cracking in the future but that's easily easily dealt with. Anyway my friends I hope you enjoyed this video in some way I shall see you in the next one. Mwah.